Greetings, this is Dyslexi from the ARMA Community Group, Shack Tactical. In cooperation with Bohemian Interactive, I'm creating a series of videos that explain some of the basics of ARMA 3. After concluding a successful alpha and beta development, which has been supported by seven previous community guides, today in this eighth guide, we'll be reflecting briefly on the release of ARMA 3, discussing the new features of the launch package, and also talk about the community around it and the future of ARMA 3 as a platform. A quick spoiler for those who are joining the ARMA community for the first time. This is a game you'll be playing actively for years to come, and you'll always be able to find some new reason to keep dropping into the battlefield again. But let's go over what Armor 3 is. At its heart, it's a tactical military shooter, a combined arms game with an infantry focus, one which is based on the core principles of authenticity, diversity, and opportunity. Armor 3 represents over 10 years of continual development and evolution of the real virtuality engine, and this latest iteration has brought a great many improvements to the series. While the visual enhancements may stand out most clearly, be they in the form of improved lighting, fog, higher quality environments, vehicles, characters, and equipment, the improvements in accessibility and control are just as significant, not to mention features like customizable gear and weapons, a vastly improved stance control system, diving, and all sorts of other welcome additions. Earlier this year, Armor 3 soft launched with an alpha program, a first for the series. By rolling out an early alpha, fans were able to both contribute towards the success of the full title's launch through suggestions and bug hunting, as well as begin exploring content creation in the form of mission and mod development. After a time, this alpha program shifted to a beta, which introduced even more content with it and more possibilities. On September 12th, after months of steady alpha and beta progress, Armor 3 launched in a release state, bringing with it the Altus terrain and the next batch of equipment and scenario content. Altus, the primary terrain of Armor 3, is the largest in the series thus far, weighing in at over 270 square kilometers of meticulously crafted Mediterranean environments. Compared to the Alpha and Beta terrains of Stratus, a full 20 square kilometers by itself, the massive size of Altus really helps put Armor's vision as a combined arms experience in the proper context. With the vast majority of the buildings in the many cities, towns, and villages of Altus being integral, urban combat and close quarters action has taken on new significance. The terrain's diversity is considerable. You'll find hills, forests, drier lake beds, marshes, beaches and bays, rolling plains, cliffs, ancient ruins, and much more. The scale of the environment allows the combined arms nature of Arma to be fully realized, with helicopters, artillery, infantry, and vehicles fighting battles that can span vast distances and allow each asset to flex their respective muscles. Speaking of those assets, Arma 3 offers a range of air, land, and seaborne vehicles and units. The infantry of each faction have a variety of weapons to utilize, complete with detachable sights, suppressors, and lights or infrared lasers. These span the range from pistols to submachine guns, rifles, carbines, sniper weapons, grenade launchers, and machine guns. Crew serve weapons such as heavy machine guns or grenade machine guns are also available, as are mortars and anti-tank or anti-aircraft missile launchers. Moving up to vehicles, the major varieties are all represented. This starts with mere transport vehicles, moving on to up-armored and armed transports, then armored personnel carriers and infantry fighting vehicles, anti-aircraft vehicles, artillery, and of course, tanks. In the air, we find a variety of helicopters, both transportation and gunship variants, as well as jet aircraft. The sea gives us boats, gunboats as well as raiding craft, in addition to submersibles for covert operations. When it comes to playable content, Armor 3 ships with a set of showcases, firing drills, and multiplayer scenarios. These are intended to familiarize players with the content available in the game, with each showing off a different facet of the experience or challenging a particular skill set. You'll find showcases spanning the full spectrum of content, from infantry to scuba, helicopters to tanks, working in a combined arms scenario or orchestrating fire support, controlling drones, flying attack helicopters, commanding troops, sneaking around at night, each showing off different aspects of the experiences that Arma is able to provide. For those that want to sharpen up their basic infantry skills, the firing drill challenges are perfect for that. Designed to train combat shooting techniques, these drills emphasize usage of multiple weapon types, close quarters and reactive shooting, shoot no shoot decision making, and mid to long range target engagement. When it comes to multiplayer, Arma 3 delivers a set of missions for both the Altus and Stratus terrains. Some of these involve you attempting to escape from hostile territory, making the best of your situation as the mission unfolds in a dynamic fashion. 
while others have you responsible for the defense of a town against heavy enemy assaults. Still more place you in control of tanks or other assets. In addition to that, there's a bustling user-created scenario scene, both for single and multiplayer, with missions spanning the spectrum from role-playing to all-out large-scale persistent warfare scenarios. Whether you're playing official or community-generated content, you're sure to find an interesting display of the variety possible through the sandbox nature of Arma. Now, as far as the future goes, there's something else coming from Bohemia. It's a, a significant, free, and new multiplayer feature, which will be unveiled in the coming months. It's pretty cool, but we'll talk more on that when the time's right. Let's look more at the future of Arma. Next up is the official campaign, delivered in three free parts in the coming months. Beyond that, Arma 3 is a long-term platform a collaborative experience between the developers and the user community, one which will continue to be supported, refined, and developed for a long time to come, both by Bohemian Interactive and the community. This collaborative effort is made smoother through the introduction of features like the Steam Workshop, which is currently used to effortlessly deliver user-generated mission content to players. While it's limited to scenarios at the current time, the intent going forward is to enable it for mods as well. In an age where most FPS studios are refusing to support modding for being too complex for the user base to handle, Arma stands out for not only allowing it, but encouraging it and working with the community to both support and further it. With powerful modding and scenario creation capabilities, Arma is a platform ready to be expanded in as many ways as the community desires. Whether that comes in the form of modeling past, present, or future warfare, alternate history, or fantasy, the potential is there. It only takes vision and work to craft new stories and possibilities. The community has already been creating a storm of content, and the years to come will stand testament to the creativity of the community, as well as the dedication and support of Bohemia itself. Now with that being said, I want to take this opportunity to speak a bit from the heart. After more than a decade of experiencing the Arma community's contributions in modding, I have to say a personal thank you to everyone who's been part of the evolution of Arma. The modding scene that's developed for these titles over the years is second to none, and simply inspiring. Arma 3 is acting as yet another example of what a dedicated and passionate community can do with the sandbox environment that's been provided to them. I find it fascinating to look at what we have today in the game, both in official and user-generated content, and then consider what we'll see developed in the coming months and years. If past titles are any indication, we've only begun to scratch the surface of what the Arma 3 engine will allow. I don't know of any comparable experience in PC gaming. I'm glad to be here and to know that there's such a passionate community supporting and helping to evolve the experience. Now, back to the present. If you're new to the Arma series and you're wanting some pointers on how the game works, what it's like to operate in the Arma environment, and similar, I'd highly recommend you check out the other videos in this community guide series. We've talked about what makes Arma different from other games you might be familiar with, how to act effectively as infantry, introduce some key concepts relating to multiplayer teamwork, and how to fly helicopters and how combined arms warfare works. There's more to come, but that's certainly a good start towards unraveling the depth of the Arma experience. For those who want even more knowledge, have a look at the official Arma 3 tactical guide clocking it at almost 350 pages of guidance on all topics Arma. Finally, a word on behalf of the team at Bohemian Interactive Studios. Thank you, all of you. Whether you're a mission maker, add-on creator, a video or a screenshot maestro, bug reporter, or a grunt fighting across Altus, we're proud to call you our fans, and we'll continue to work hard to do justice to the creative and passionate community that's formed around us over the years. Remember, this is just the beginning. Onward and upward, and we hope you enjoy the ride. For more community guide videos, be sure to subscribe to the official Arma 3 YouTube channel. For other Arma 3 updates, keep track of the official website, Facebook, and Twitter pages. If you like more in-depth tutorial and multiplayer gameplay of Arma 3 and previous Arma games, I'd also recommend you check out my channel here. This is Dyslexi, and I'll see you on Altus.